Hello everyone, you're watching Physio Classroom channel and in this video we are going to learn how to perform the ulnar nerve mobility testing. This test should be performed in patients who complain of symptoms along the course of ulnar nerve. The test also helps in ruling out the involvement of C8 nerve root, lower trunk of the brachial plexus and the ulnar nerve pathologies at the level of the elbow such as the cubital tunnel syndrome and at the level of wrist such as ulnar neuropathy in Guyens canal. So let's get started with the practical demonstration of ulnar nerve mobility testing. So to test the ulnar nerve on the left side, the therapist is going to place the left hand behind the patient's scapula in this manner. The therapist's right hand is going to contact the patient's left hand in such a manner so that the fingers are wrapped around the patient's fingers and the thumb goes posteriorly to stabilize the MCP joint. The thinar eminence of the therapist separates the patient's thumb with the rest of the fingers. So this is going to be hold which is going to be used to test the ulnar nerve. Now the sequence of standard testing is as follows. The first important component that is going to be added is the scapular or the shoulder depression movement. And now from here the therapist is going to extend the wrist and fingers of the patient. The forearm is going to be fully pronated and the elbow is going to be bent. While supporting the patient's arm with the thigh, the therapist is next going to externally rotate the shoulder joint. And while maintaining this external rotation, the therapist is now going to slowly start abducting the patient's shoulder while watching the symptoms of the patient. Now at the onset of the first symptom, the therapist is going to use a differentiating maneuver to rule out the involvement of the nervous system in the patient's symptoms. So for this, the therapist is just going to reduce the amount of scapular depression movement. And if this makes any change in the patient's symptom, then this indicates the presence of a nervous system involvement. Now if the standard testing of the ulnar nerve does not reveal any reproduction of symptoms, the therapist can also sensitize the test by asking the patient to side bend on the contralateral side. Ensure that the shoulder depression movement is maintained throughout the performance of test and is only released during the differentiating maneuver. So this was all about the important components of the ulnar nerve mobility testing. Also do keep in mind that we have the various levels of mobility testing about which we have already made a video and the test can be performed according to the severity of the patient's symptom. Just remember when the symptoms are severe, always start by adding the components distally or away from the patient's problem. So see you all in our next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing and stay connected.